everybody! Welcome back to my channel, Subscription Boxes and More with Michelle. Or if this is your first time here, welcome! And I hope it won't be your last. I have found a new uh, site, a lot like Wish, but it's called Timu. And I'm liking it better than Wish, or at least, you know, I haven't done Wish in a long time. So, maybe that's not fair, but right now I'm enjoying it more than Wish. Timu! Try it out. If you haven't already. And if you have, let's talk about it. Because I want to know what your experience is, how you're liking it. Because I've this is my second one. And so far I'm loving it. Let's see if I still love it once I open this one up. The first like three orders, at least when I ordered, you get like 30% off of each one. And you can possibly even get free shipping. So guys go check them out now while that's still going on hopefully it's still going on by the time you see this okay got it open lots of stuff inside first thing it's cold need gloves i can't find my gloves and these wait till you see them you'll know why i bought them just wait till you see i don't need my scissors yes low sugar gonna eat in a minute i'm not hungry but i know Low sugar. All right, look at them. I dropped one. <laughs> look at them. They got a little cat on them, and they got. Uh, I believe this is so that you can use your phone. And I have little hands, so they fit me for sure. But I had my finger in the thumb hole. But they seemed like they're going to be stretchy enough that most people will be able to wear them. And hey, look, you got a little cat. Is that not the cutest thing? Okay, maybe it's just me, but I like them. Little stuffed cat head on them. See? All right. Let's get that back off and pick up the one that went on the floor. See, they both have the little cat head. I'm such a kid. I don't care. I like them. All right. Tell me what you think of them. Next, I got a mini dust fan set for when I'm cracking and I get glitter everywhere or whatever. That's what I got this for. The little thing that said dust fan set fell off. But anyways, it's, you can uh, hang it up on a hook. They both have the hole through them. Here's your little broom. Can you sweep up all your I, now that's going to be a problem the glitter is going to just go under it i think i got bent in shipping but i'm sure i can heat it up with the dryer and you know the hair dryer and straighten it out i think it probably did that in shipping okay what's next This is something that will make an appearance in a cat lady video, I'm quite sure. Wait till you see what it actually is. So when you've already seen it, don't say, oh, we've already seen it, because yeah, you've been warned. And it's got an M. Hello, my name's Michelle. It's got an M. It's got these little thingies, I'm not sure what that's about, but... I'm not going to put it on because you're going to see it on me in a cat lady video. Love it. And you know me and pens. So there's this pink, but guess what? I don't think this is actually a pen, guys. I think this is actually a, like, exacto knife. Let me find out. Let me check it on this paper that I've already written on. Okay, here. Guys, be careful. That is a blade, not a writing utensil. That little tiny thing is a blade. Be careful with it, but that's going to be handy. Right, you know, cut, have control. Yep, I like that. Mm hmm. Going to make sure that nobody gets a hold of it. Hey. Be nice, sisters. Be nice, sisters. Thank you. Next item. This, my friends, is a wooden... Sisters! 
Be nice to each other. Oh, don't bite mommy. Don't bite mommy. Be nice to your sister. <coughs> it's a ruler. See? Ruler with a cat head. Put it in my journal, whatever. It's got centimeters, not inches, but you know, that's all right. Straight edge ruler. Works for me. All right. What next? Rolled paper cutting device. Well, guys, we're coming into the gift wrapping season. And this is supposed to go along. I wish I had a roll of wrapping paper right here. But you're supposed to put this around your roll of wrapping paper. And as you can see, there is a blade that lives right in there. And you can cut it. Put your roll in there. Pull your paper out through there. Cut the amount you need. And it should be straighter and easier. Let's see if it really works. I can't put it around a roll, but I can put it around a piece of paper and see if it works. Let's see if we can put it like it is going to be a roll of paper. Go this way. What am I doing? Well, okay. Can't do it unless I roll it up. <laughs> okay. So it's inside of there like it would be a roll of paper, right? So we're just down at the very end of the paper. Just need a little bit. Trying to get a hold of the paper because it's not exactly a roll of paper, right? Well, if it was a roll, it obviously would work because it was cutting. It was. I promise it was. It's just that I can't. It's bunching up because it's not on a roll. And it's not cutting straight, again, because it's not on a roll. But it does work. If it was a, an actual roll of paper, it would work quite nicely. I'm going to get a lot of use out of that for years to come, I think. All right. What do we have here? Well, I don't know. I just bought it. Double adhesive tape. So this is for my like scrapbooking. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rolls. I'm only going to get out one. Hey, they are individually, look at that, awesomeness. Because they're double-sided tape. Let's open up one. I like that. So you're not having it get everywhere. Okay, it's, it's on. All right, there is, a, oh, wow, that's got some good stick. It's got like a, um, like like your other double-sided tape, and you put it down, uh, in like uh, score tape or whatever, and then you pull off this coating, this paper, the backing paper, and then you stick your papers together, and they're stuck. And it's got nice, nice stick, guys. Nice stick. And there are ten of those. I will tell you, I will use that uh, the next project that I do. I will use it. It's like a half inch wide. That's the only thing. I wish that some of them were more like a quarter inch or an eighth inch, but I'll take it. What next? What next? What next is in here? It's a pair of socks. You know, I have a thing for socks, but wait till you see what they are. Guys, I'll show you one so you can see. See, it's those sheer socks, which seems to be all the rage right now. I'm going to put my hand down on it so you can see. See how you can see my hand through it? And look, they got kitty cats on them. Look, kitty cats. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Going to wear these soon. Now, they may not be real fall and winter weather um, <laughs> friendly since they're sheer. I don't care. I'm wearing them anyways. Be careful, though. They are like nylons and they will snag and once they snag they're snagged so kind of be careful don't walk around barefoot and just be careful when you put them on that you don't snag them on rings or long nails or whatever but i love them and i will wear them as long as they last those are cute next i believe another cutter i believe this is another one I wanted to check, you know, there's more than one design. This has got two ends. 
one end is pointy. Let's see on this paper. Is this a cutting end? No, this writes. Right there where my finger is pointing. This one writes this end. This end writes. Let's see what the other end does. Let's see what this end does. It is a cutting blade. See? See the holes I cut? Neat. So you can draw the line on one side and then use the blade to cut, you know, cut out what you did or whatever. That's pretty awesome. I'm going to keep that aside. I don't want somebody to think it's anything thin and hurt themselves. Next item. A nice small silicone spatula. Uh, I think this one is meant for trying to get the cat food out of the cans. That's why it's like pointy on one side and rounded on the other. So that you can get down in and get all the cat food. I believe that's what this one was for. That's what I bought it for. Oh, I bought another one of those. Um, I showed this in the last video. I Where'd it go? It's put away. I'm sorry. Um, but they stack together. So I decided to buy a second one um, for washi tape. The washi tape that you're using uh, for a project. So now I have two of them. One stacks on the other. Comes in this box. Anyway, it comes boxed and love it. Tried it. Decided when I bought it, I should have bought two. Um, I do a lot of drawing and stuff, and so I got these erasers to put in my um, art bag with my pencils one two three four five different ones so i got a couple grandkids that like to draw a lot so i can share washi tape of course washi tape i love these thinner solid color washi tapes i use them up very quickly i would put it in the washi thing i did it in the last video go and watch well <sighs> I'll take it out of here and put it on there just to show you in case you haven't seen that other video so this pulls right out and you sorry probably out of the frame stick your washies on there clicks into place you know make sure they're going the right direction I probably have them backwards but anyway they fit right on there and then you I have them backwards but they just stretch them across here and then these cut really really well and they stack you can have lots of these stacked up love them i will be getting a lot more of them uh-oh uh-oh washi tape this one's christmas theme washies washies see them christmas trees doves Gingerbread men. This one says like Merry Christmas stripes. There's some foiling. I don't want to take them out. This is actually probably going to be a gift. Um, another cat toy. This will shoot this disc for them to go after. A little gun that shoots a disc. I do not want to take it out. Well, take it out, I can use it. I don't really want to um, lose it or get them chasing it for Christmas, so we'll try it. Why not? Okay, I got it on. I think you have to squeeze the trigger to put it on, and then... Well, that didn't work very well. That was spectacular failure. Why did it not work? Try it again. Operator error, maybe. So far, I'm liking everything, but this, maybe not. You have to like squeeze the trigger to get it to spectacular fail, guys. I'm going to give it third time's a charm, right? I'm thinking it's not like can like going on properly. I don't know. Nope. Third time is not a charm. Guys, don't buy this. It's it's no. But it's not working. No. Not even a little. 
darn. That could have been, I'll get a kid's one. Maybe it'll be better. I know they sell these at like Dollar Tree for kids. Nope. That is a fail. So that will not be going to them for Christmas. What's the point? It doesn't work. All right, so far it's the only thing I've gotten from them that I'm not happy with. I got some paint brushes for watercolors. As you know, I do like to do my watercolors. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each one has a lid. It's the barrel that you fill up with water. And then the lid usually twists off. And then there are different size brushes. This part twists apart. And you put water in the barrel. Twist back on. There, these are lefty, tidy, righty, loosey. Kind of weird. All right. I like that. All right, so we looked at this one, and here is another one very much like that one. Same size, it looks to be. Then we have this guy, and he's got green. So we know it's... Oops, sorry. Get it in the frame, Shell. Smaller. Yeah, this guy is more of a, you know, brush pin type nib. And like, it's a brush. I mean, it's not like really a nib, but you know what I mean. Like the different brush pens, so that'll be nice. Get a nice um, swooshy, you know, like swoopy, like if you wanted to do writing, I'm, I'm thinking. But also... Um, good for painting it's not just for that here's a smaller version of that one so we have two versions of the flat brush two of the um... oh look at that one it's even bigger neat nifty I like these I like these a lot all right I have a few different sets of these, but this is pretty nice. All right, and the price was good. So I'm glad I got those. We'll put it in my, eye, my art supplies. Sit back down so we can do this a little better. All right, what's next? I don't know. Kitty cat. Sugar be good. All right. This is a thing that hangs on the wall and it has like pockets to put in my studio for holding art supplies and stuff. Always art supplies. Well, goodness, throw it on the floor. It wouldn't be in my video if I didn't drop something. Okay, so there's a, be quiet. There's a dowel that goes through. Okay. And then there's a string to tie, <coughs> excuse me, at the ends of the dowel. Why that wasn't already put together, I don't know, but it wasn't. All right, so it's got, so you can hang it up, right? And then it's got these pockets, three pockets. It's got a pretty good gusset on the bottom, if I can get it to stick out. See, pretty good. So you can put a lot in each pocket. There's three pockets like that. I've been wanting one of these. I saw them on Wish to begin with, and I just never bought it. This is going to hold quite a little bit of art supplies. Like, here's the paint brushes and stuff that I just opened. See? All kinds of things could fit in there. Neat! That'll be good. For storing my supplies that I want to keep at hand. Quit playing with that. All right, next we have some kind of tape. Can you see it? And this is some of that stuff that's supposed to... Hang on. I don't know what they call it. Um, what do they call it on here? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> that's helpful. Thanks. All right. Anyways, I think it's supposed to be like that stuff that you can wash off and reuse and everything. Oh, wow. That's pretty sticky. And then it's double-sided. And you can hang up like things on your wall and things like that. 
and I think you're supposed to be able to like rinse it off and reuse it if if it works like the stuff on TV. That's but I just want something that I can use to put on my walls that is repositionable and doesn't put a hole. Um, okay, this goes with this. Let's see if it um, let's see if it works better. It came with an extra one. Maybe it'll work better. This one lights up. Um, it lights up and stuff, but it's not flying around any better. So, again, a big fat fail and a big fat no, in my opinion. Uh, something else for cat lady videos that you will see later. You can tell I was looking at this in October, close to Halloween. <gasps> Gonna see that in a video. You know, I have to have all the cat things. It's my thing, man. You know, I think these little discs, I think I'll just throw them because I think that they'll still chase them. But it's still a fail. I'm saying don't don't waste your money. This is a pencil eraser that you can sharpen and use it like for when you're doing like detail like drawing, you can erase in a small area. Detail erasing. And it's says touch copic 2800 rubber pencil ming yun Let's see if i can get it to show up i don't know i can try get my face out of it okay so this end is an eraser for my art stuff i'm not an artist i'm a doodler sticky note all right i believe that these are like vellum like kind of clear ish sticky notes <clears throat> so you can stick it like where you're, say you're reading something in a book, yeah. And you want to put a note, but you want to still be able to see the writing. It's a sticky note. So this, you can write on this, I would say, with a marker, like a permanent marker. But then you can put it over what you're reading. I do a lot of highlighting and things, but this is a way to do it and still, you'll write a note about it. And stick it over it, and you can still see what's under it. So, those would have been neat when I was in college, I think, for textbooks. What is this? This is double-sided, like, scrapbooking tape with more than one in here. I don't know if it's supposed to be repositionable or, or if it's supposed to be permanent. I don't think it's said. I'm sorry, I know I'm kind of off candle a little bit. It's where I keep picking stuff up. There are four of them. Let's see how they feel. Sticky-wise. Oh, pretty sticky. Again, I will use this in the next project that I do and let you know what I think of it and try to leave you like a link. Oh, that doesn't work. I try to rebag it and it rips. What do we have in here? I don't know. What is it? Oh, it's a hat for winter with cat ears. You know when you'll be seeing this, you know. Um, also, um, silicone is this really nice. This is for like icing cakes and things like that. You could even use it for buttering toast if you wanted to. It's silicone, see? So you can like that. Ah, oh, that's going to say, what is this? Took me a minute. Something for my my sugar's low, so that keeps going off. Something for my husband for when he's cutting things like cutting onions or whatever. You put your fingers in here and you hold the produce and you can cut without worrying about cutting yourself. They look like um, uh, cake decorating tips, but they're not. They're used for finger protection when you're cutting stuff. And it also, the end can go in it and grab the produce. Dazzling flowers. Stickers. All right. 
Apparently I bought some stickers. Let's get it out so it's not so reflective. Oh, well, there's more than one sheet. One, two, looks like three sheets. Yep. Three sheets of stickers. Those are pretty. One sheet. Two sheet. Three sheet. Come on, show. It's got butterflies and stuff. They're pretty. I like this. I wanted to try some of their stickers, and those were pretty, so. No, this is for the cat food. The other one's just a spatula. Sorry. The first one was just a spatula. Here's the cat food one. I know because it's got a cat face on it. I'm just always looking for a nice small spatula. And anytime you need to get into a can, a small, you know, come on. Don't show me, show it. Can you see it? <laughs> see the little cat face? But then this is meant to get the stuff out of the cat food can. Me. All right. Cookie making time's coming up. What is it? Cat cookie cutters. Let's see? Look at that one's kind of stretched out, stretching. And then you got that one kind of arching its back a little bit. That one just running around, doing the zoomies. See, kind of stretchy position. There's one just sitting. Kitty cat cookies. Because cat. And just in case one pair of gloves isn't enough, I had to have another pair because like, and look, it's like big tail. I know they look really small, but again, I have really freakishly small hands. <laughs> look at that. That's so cute. All right. And let it say. Take it off. These are very snug fitting and they're thicker than most. They're like fuzzy lined. Look, you got like a fuzzy lining. So they're going to be warmer than most of those little stretchy gloves that you find. Those are going to be really nice. This, I believe, is a, a knife sharpener, which I need very badly. This one's like a frog head. Hmm. I guess this little rubber pad goes on the bottom to help maybe so it doesn't... Oh, oh. Their little sticky feet. I got you. I got it. Sorry, guys. It's got little sticky feet. It goes on the bottom to help it like stay in place and not slide and stuff such as that. That's cool. They could have done it, put it on, but here's the little rubbery feet. I got those stuck on. But see, it's a little frog. And it's a knife sharpener. I'll let you know how well it works. Because I have knives that really need sharpened. Oh, goodness. I got more washi tape. Are you kidding me? No? This one's got butterflies. See all the butterflies? They have really, really good prices on their washi tape. And I love my washi tape. Here's some hooks. There's a whole bunch of them. But I'm going to get one out and show you. I think there's like ten or eight or something like that in here. I have lots of things I want to hang up. Think about using this on the side of my dream box to hang some things. But there's not a good dozen of them in there. But anyways, those are really cool. They got adhesive on them. Another thing of twine, because apparently I don't think I have enough. Another ball of twine. But again, it's different than the other two, a little bit. Oh, a cheese cutter. I needed a cheese cutter. I bought block cheese, and then I just could not cut it straight, you know. So, cheese cutter. You know, you just 
slices of cheese and get in them straighter because it's got that wire there. See it? The wire? All right. Need that a lot. What else? Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. This is apparently the last item, and it is ridiculous. Well, you might think a lot of it's ridiculous, but this is ridiculous. It says colored pencils. It doesn't say how many. I think there's like 10 or so. Guys, look at this. The size of this. I love everything miniature. I didn't know it was going to be miniature. The top has a pencil sharpener. I don't know if you can see that. Look at these pencils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pencils. They're just, don't fall now. They're just wooden. They're all like that. Let's color on a page and see what we got. Oh my goodness, these are not too bad. These aren't too bad at all. For a little travel, stick it in your purse on the go. Not bad at all. They're not, you know, the greatest, but they are all right. They're small, portable. I like them. Glad I got them. There are all the colors. And they fit in this little tube with a little lid with a sharpener. Fits pretty tight. Smaller than my hand. Great portability. Good gifting for kids. Really inexpensive. Gonna buy some for the grandchildren. I hope they get here in time for stocking surfers for Christmas because they are really neat. Like that a lot. Okay, guys, those are my uh, Timu orders. Again, it is. See? Timu. You probably have seen advertisements on the internet. Matter of fact, let's get a good view of that. You have probably seen ads for Timu uh, all over the internet. Um, it only takes a, a couple of weeks for your items to come, at least in my um, experience. It's two or three weeks. I got my items and they come packaged together instead of um, a bunch of things separately. So I'm liking that real well. Um, unlike Wish, who sends things in one little bag here, one little bag there, it might only have one item and it, it takes forever. It's really hard to make a video when it doesn't come, not only not all at once, but it could come weeks apart, the pieces. And then you lose things, you forget about things, whatever. This is better in my opinion. I don't know, I haven't done Wish in quite a while, so I, they may have upped their game, I don't know. We'll see, but if they haven't, they should, because there's a new, there's a, there's a new store in town, guys, and it's called Timu, T-E-M-U. Check it out. Love it. Prices are good, and they got all kinds of sales going on. So uh, with that, let me know what you think. Have you tried Timu? Have you not? Have you heard of it? Have you not? Um, let's just talk about it. And please give me that big old thumbs up because, you know, that would really help my channel. And please subscribe to my channel. And please share my video with others. So maybe they might subscribe as well. And they may not have ever heard of Timu. You could maybe save them some money. And thank you so much for watching. And for listening to me babble. And I'll see you again soon in another video. Bye guys.